whether to do a video about my makeup or whether to do a video about the color of my hair and how I got it this way. This was intended to be a makeup tutorial and it might still be. Let's see what happens. Hair lost. I'm gonna do the makeup tutorial because I really want to use my Naked palette. I have not used it yet. Plus I have all my makeup out already and I don't want to put it back. I'm also moving in like six weeks. So nothing is in order. It's very hard for me to film when I don't know where anything is. So getting started. Remember when I uploaded this video and everyone was asking me to do a makeup tutorial because you guys really liked it and thought it was cute. I'm gonna try to do that look right now, but I'm gonna add some things. The first thing I'm doing is priming my lids. This way my eyeshadow sticks on all day cause I'm gonna kind of be using a lot of eyeshadow so I want it to stick. Then I'm going to take a white liner pencil and I'm going to line the inner corners of my eyes because this will make my highlighter appear brighter and truer when I apply my highlighter to the inner corners. So first I kind of apply the white pencil as like a little base. Then afterwards I'm going to take the same white liner and I'm going to line the water line because I feel that it makes my eyes look prettier when I do that because it makes them look bigger. Also, I have pink, a pink waterline, and also I want to apologize for the reflection of this TV that is showing. It's really annoying. Don't pay attention to that. Now I'm going to get my brush. I'm putting, I kept them in candle holders, you guys. I decided to use candle holders. I thought that that was really creative. Uh, anyway, so here is the Naked 2 palette. Do you have it or not? Do you have it? Do you have it? It's all sold out. Anyways, this color I'm going to use called Tease. Are you a Tease? I'm gonna put that all over. I'm gonna put it on my lid, I'm gonna put it on my crease. The only place I'm not gonna put it is underneath my brow bone and in my inner corner of my eye. Then afterwards, I'm going to add their cream color. It's the very first color, it's called Foxy, but if you don't have a naked palette, you can just use a cream color. And I'm going to not only apply it underneath my brow bone, but I'm also gonna kind of blend it lightly above where I applied my pretty little neutral color okay and then afterwards I'm going to take this color called booty call and I'm going to apply it very generously to my inner corner because the look is supposed to be shimmery and it's gonna make my eyes look brighter and it's gonna make them stand out more and it's gonna be awesome this is a black liner pencil and what I do is I get blurry and then I show you how to line my top lash line and then I'm gonna take a black shadow which is also in the naked palette and I'm going to take a brush and kind of blend out the black line with the black shadow but I'm not gonna cover the whole entire lid with black I, well, I still want you to be able to see some of the pretty neutral color that I added and as I blend I'm also kind of winging it out a little bit like so okay then afterwards I'm gonna take a little blending brush and I'm just gonna add a little bit of black lightly to the outer corner do it ever so lightly I feel like it's better to start off with just a little bit of shadow on the brush and kind of layer it on more and more the more you need it rather than start off with too much shadow on your brush and then have to like take some off later but it's up to you however you want to do it so I'm gonna just kind of keep adding the black to my outer corner only I'm not really gonna apply it anywhere else but my outer corner because I want to create a sexy cat eye with my eyeshadow I basically always wing out my eyeshadow because I just like the way it looks on me better all right now I'm gonna take some lashes they are not lashes that I am particularly fond of but they came in the mail so whatever I got them off eBay anyways okay they're on and now I got to do my liner and it's so hard teaching the technique verbally with liner I always tell my friends and I'm telling you guys right now since you guys are my friends to practice in the mirror get a q-tip get some makeup remover and practice 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 but I will tell you that this liner is going to be thicker than I normally do it and I'm also going to wing it out like so. I'm not going to extend the wing too far because I really don't have to. These lashes are really dramatic and it's just not really necessary but if you want to you can. It's fine. This is how slow I actually go when I'm trying to perfect my liner. Okay, liner's on. Now I got to move to my lower lash line. Here's what I'm doing. I'm taking the same color that I used for my lid and my crease and I'm going to go ahead and blend it lightly underneath my lash line. I'm not going to go over the white though. White stays. I'm not going in the inner corner. Inner corner stays. And then I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to add some black just to the lash line. I'm not going to drag it down though. See how I did that? 
you gotta press rewind if you didn't. Okay, this is done, and now it's mascara time. I always apply mascara to my lower lashes first. Okay, I lied, I don't always do that, but I try to. You wanna know why? Because when you apply it to your top lashes first, and then, see how they're touching my lid right now, my top lashes? Okay, if you apply it to your top lashes first, and then you go to apply it to your bottom ones, you usually get mascara all over your crease, and it's annoying to remove. So, just save yourself the time and the headache and apply it to your bottom lashes first and I'm gonna put on like five layers of mascara and then I'm gonna take my highlighter I'm gonna go back in over my inner corner where I applied my highlighter in the beginning but I just kind of want to brighten it up a little bit one more time I'm also gonna lightly sweep it underneath where I applied the shadow not heavily or anything like that just a little bit to give it some shimmer and then guess what I gotta do my face suck those cheeks in girls I'm gonna add some bronzer to my cheekbones and I'm going to do the little three, you know, where you get the cheekbones, the side of your forehead, and also the jawline. It gives you a nice sculpted look, makes you look five pounds lighter in the face, I swear to God. So cheekbones, side of the head, and the jawline, okay? Now whenever I apply bronzer, I have to apply a highlighter. I am a highlighter junkie. I have to have it. I gotta wear it every day. I need it. Okay, watch. This is what I do. I just lightly sweep it above where I applied my bronzer, like so. You don't need to put on too much. And I want you to honestly just take a look at this. Take a look at the difference. Look at this side and look at that side. This side, that side. You know that the one with the highlighter looks better. Don't lie to me. Go ahead and add it to the other side. And then, if you want to also, you can just take a little bit on your finger or on your brush and just apply it on the bridge of your nose if you have a nose like mine. I kind of have a flatter nose, so I like to add a highlighter to my bridge to make it look a little bit taller. Okay, now for your lips, you can leave them like this if you want to, or you can do it the way you asked me to do it, which is nude. Now I just take a light brown liner and I line my lips like so. Then afterwards, I'm taking this really pretty shimmery gloss. This is the one that I like to use. I just got it, actually. And I apply that pretty, pretty generously. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and glob it on. Now, this is what I like to do. I like to take a concealer or any kind of, you know, yes, concealer. Or you can take a foundation that matches your skin tone. And I like to apply it that. The reason why I'm choosing this method is because I know... My viewers are all different skin colors, so just take something that matches your skin tone. If you don't have a, a nude lipstick that already does, that looks so gross. Did you see that? My lip gloss was gooey. And this is the finished look right here. My favorite look, well, one of my favorite looks ever. I wear it out a lot, and I try to do my best to duplicate the one from my previous video. I hope that you guys like it. Devon actually took an ornament, so I'm going to... I gotta beat him now. Wanna watch? It's fun. Me. Give it to me. Give me that fire I drink right now. Don't be bad. You give that to me right now. That's an ornament, honey. You don't eat the ornament, honey. Baby, you give that to me. Let go. Drop it. Thank you. Now it's mine. I love you, though. I still love you, Wendy. I still love you no matter what.